often you do see more activity in aromatase and potentially more side effects like gynecomastia. Um, so pros and cons of HCG versus TRT. So can HCG be TRT? HCG can be. Uh, some people, including myself, refer to this as HCG model therapy. HCG is human chorionic gonadotropin. We've discussed it in many podcasts in the past, but it does have actions other than just binding to the LH receptor in the testes and the ovaries. Um, it also is very similar to the TSH molecule. So at high doses, it can have a clinically significant effect on the thyroid. And then it can also alter the enzymatic uh, balance. So sometimes it's an off-label PFS treatment between 5-alpha reductase and then also aromatase. So often you do see more activity in aromatase and potentially more side effects like gynecomastia. Um, in general, it's not a great long-term TRT. And I suppose if you have an individual um, with like bilateral testicular cancer, then it is not a good TRT <laughs> at all. Yeah. I mean, with the HCG, I think you mentioned, you know, the aromatase activity mm -hmm. that gets upregulated. That seems to be the dose limiting step. I mean, if you look at some of the fertility studies where they're giving guys 6,000 IUs per week of HCG, you can get a total testosterone of around 2,000. Uh, but I don't think those guys feel very good at that level because they're getting a ton of estradiol. Lots mm -hmm. of them are getting gynecomastia, elevated mm -hmm. blood pressures, probably a lot of emotional sensitivity going around during that time. Yep. So some guys get a pretty robust response from HCG out of mm -hmm. a relatively low dose. Uh, and then some guys like HCG as an adjunct to their TRT, again, at a low dose. But once you start inching up that dose, it's a point of diminishing returns. And it's like, you know, is it really worth it to continue kind of chasing this? Yeah, that's a good way to summarize it. Slightly different risks, slightly different benefits, but in general, unless there's a short to medium term reason for it, it's not a good long-term replacement. Yeah, and you can come off of it easier. It's kind of like a, a test drive. You bounce back relatively quickly. You don't have to wait several weeks for that hormone to clear your system. Yeah, often you do see more activity in aromatase and potentially more side effects like gynecomastia.